What's up guys? So today I uh, got the, the saw in here doing some little uh, little aesthetic maintenance to it. So you can see right here, uh, the headlights are starting to get cloudy. And a lot of this stuff right here is basically the clear coat fading off of the headlight and it's kind of oxidizing itself. So what we need to do is, uh, is go ahead and sand through that, take all that clear coat off so that we could polish the plastic underneath it and then reseal re the headlight so that it's protected from the UV rays of the sun again. So kind of what I want this, uh, this whole video to be is kind of a get out and like work on your car type of, of deal. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I don't get something done during the day or if I don't accomplish something, if I don't make some sort of progress during the day, I feel like I didn't, uh, I didn't th that day was worthless. If I sit around and watch TV all day, or you know, play video games, which I don't play video games. But even if even if I don't come to the shop some days, I, I feel like I'm not getting anything done or being productive. Uh, so this would be a simple way for you guys to get out and actually work on your car and uh, and kind of see uh, like an aesthetic change. I, I think one it's it's probably one of the simplest, cheapest things you could do to your car that improves the the, the looks of it by like ten times. So. The headlights on this thing aren't really that bad. Uh, looking at them, they're not, they're not terrible, but definitely at night I notice an issue with the visibility and I've definitely polished out a lot, a lot worse headlights than this. So I'm gonna go over two different, uh, basically two different ways that you could go about polishing your headlights yourself at home. Uh, kind of the first way is going to be the, like the professional way. That involves a, a bucket of soapy water some, you could even go, go down a little bit more to like a, a 400, 600, 800, 1000 grit, 1500, 2000. So basically what we need, like I said, we need to sand away that, that faded clear coat, all the oxidation, get it down to the good solid plastic so it's all an, an even surface all the way across it. And then we need to polish that, that back up and then seal it to protect it. So basically once you, you, you go through all the ste steps, I'd probably start with like 600, 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and then hit it with some rubbing compound from there. Got some rubbing compound right here. Um, and then to seal it all back up, I have this, uh, this is like some headlight sealant. And this is a water-based ready-to-use formula. Uh, this I used a long time ago and I haven't really used it in a while, but I just pulled it out of the cabinet. It's actually all hard because it, it, it shrunk up and or it just evaporated just from sitting so long. You could see the date on it is, oh wait, but basically this stuff, you would uh, put it on a brush and then wipe it on your headlights. But I didn't really like this method just because it kind of left some streaks on there. Uh, you could also like tape off the headlights really good and use some clear coat on it. But keep in mind, any clear coat that's in your, that comes in a can is not gonna have like the UV, the UV protection of like a two part, like 2K, like, uh, like clear coat with hardener and all that stuff in it. So keep that in mind that, that if you do this, like style of deal, same thing with this. this. This isn't a high quality clear coat and it's not gonna last a long time on there. So probably within a couple years, they'll, they'll start to fade and yellow again. Um, if you really, really were, wanted to, to do a one time, like lifetime headlight restoration on your, your plastic lens headlights, what you do is, is do all the steps, leave it at probably about a thousand grit, just, just basically sand them and then re-clear coat them with uh, with like a high quality automotive based like clear coat that's like on, on your typical car. Second way we're gonna talk about is this uh, kind of this at home do it yourself kit that 3M sells. So I was talking to their, a representative from 3M. Uh, this is not a, a paid product promotion or anything like that. They just sent me this kit to give it a try. And, uh, and yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And I figured this would be a, a good way to, to kind of show you the differences between having to purchase all this stuff, which you could get little pads and you could you know, buy all these things separate. But, uh, but it's definitely nice if you only have one like set of headlights or you, know, you wanna do your headlights and your mom's or your, your wife or your girlfriend's headlights, uh, th this would definitely be a, an easy way to go. So yeah, this is a pretty complete kit. Pretty much seems like it comes with everything you need. It comes with this little head you put on your drill, uh, a nice instruction sheet. A uh, rubbing compound, it has this, this is where you, you put the rubbing compound. Uh, it has some 500 grit discs and an, some 800 grit discs, as well as a 3000 grit disc, which this would be what you would uh, do before you apply the synthetic wax protectant, which I don't think this is a, this isn't like a clear coat or anything like that, but it's, it definitely should protect the headlights for a while. 
So yeah, I'm just giving this a quick little try today. If you guys are interested in a kit like this, they sell them on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. They're about 20 bucks. I'm not sure how much they are at like your old local uh, parts store, you know, like O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto Parts, all them places. Some I've seen them at Walmart as well. Most places that sell like automotive equipment or, you know, like oil and all that stuff, they'll have this. And I know some of you guys are gonna get, get on here and be like, oh, you know, you could take off uh, you know, bug spray and spray it on there and wipe it off and you got brand new headlights again or, or whatever. Um, I just don't think that's the case. That, that's a, a temporary solution. It puts kind of a, a film on it and, and makes it look good for a little while. Uh, I got a bucket of soapy water here, but it would basically be the same, same similar thing as you put a little bit of water on there and it kind of kind of clears it up and makes it look a little shiny again. So yeah, I'm gonna go over uh, basically what you do if you're if you either way. I'm gonna kind of do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one headlight one way, one headlight the other way. Uh, I might try the 3M kit on this side, and I'm gonna try the the old way right here. So I got some basic glass cleaner, soap and water works too. Just basically clean all the the gunk and grime off of off of the car. I already have this side taped up. So get them, get them wiped down good. Surrounding area, make sure that's nice and clean so that the the tape actually sticks to it. Normally I tape these up as well, but I'm just I'm using the 3M tape because it's readily available. They don't cheap out on the tape either. They give you the the decent stuff. This green stuff ain't ain't the cheap stuff. Just trying to get any edges that might get caught by the sandpaper or the, the little polisher. I'm doing that. Or just scratching up your bumper. Yeah, now that that's uh, kind of almost taped up, we're uh, start over here on this side with this uh, with this sandpaper. So I have uh, in here some various grits of sandpaper that I kind of had laying around. Um, so we're going to start off with probably the 400 grit, and this is really aggressive. So 400 is super aggressive, but like I said, I'm trying to get these things kind of past that that clear coat. And I'll make sure to sand out the rest of those uh, those sand scratches later on. And I have I wrapped this. This is another. It's like a, a sanding block. This is when you're like sanding a car. Uh, you basically squeegee the stuff to make sure that you got all the ripples or the orange peel out of it. And uh, so I'm just using that as basically a kind of a, a backing block for the the sandpaper, so it's easier to easier to hold. So I haven't tried the 3M kit, but doing this stuff by hand can some, sometimes be a pain. So this side isn't too bad. So basically you want to get it to a uniform kind of texture. Make sure you, you sand it all the way around, up and down, back and forth, kind of cut across your, your sand scratches. It'll kind of help it, help it go a little bit quicker. Kind of bend the bend it to get down in the corners. So yeah, I'm gonna quit that with uh, 400 grit. Find me some other. I think I have some 800 in here. There's some 600, so we'll we'll try that. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically just go up through the steps. Yeah, this is basically after the first thing. I did 400, 600, 1000 grit, 1500 grit, and 2000 grit. So now I am going to put a little rubbing compound on the this stuff, spray a little bit of water on it, hit it with this yellow compounding pad, and uh, polish them back to shiny again. 
So yeah, this is uh, some other uh, rubbing compound I like quite a bit. This is some G3 liquid compound. I'm actually all out of that that other stuff. But uh, normally I do this on when I'm buffing like a paint job or something like that. This stuff's pretty high quality. But uh, so yeah, I'll plug in the buffer here. Give that a couple little spritzes. Turn this down low to about a thousand. Yeah, that's uh, about done with this one. You wipe it off. Yeah, that uh, that looks pretty good compared to that one. It's kind of these weird spots right here in the lens, and I think that's kind of from the heat. I feel like it's kind of messed with it a little bit from the the actual headlamp. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, and try this side. So yeah, now we are going to attempt this uh, 3M kit. It's kind of reading through the instructions a little bit earlier. Let's see, for yellow, use the P500 gold disc and pad holder. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like they want you to use water, or it's not calling for water. I might end up spraying some water on it, but we'll, uh, we'll test this out and, uh, and see how it does dry. So my drill, it, it it says kind of what speed it wants you to have the drill. Uh, mount the disc pad holder to a 12, 1200 to 1600 RPM drill on the side of my drill right here. It says 1500 minimum. 400 to 1500. I think that's 400 and then when I put it on two that's 15. So we're going to try this side out. disc isn't getting too clogged up so as I wipe it off I could still see I could see some spots so right here we got all the clear coat off right there there's a little bit clear of clear coat left same thing with this the disc is getting clogged up I think that's why they provide you with a couple of them I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out Throw that one away. All right, so like I said, you can see right here where I pretty much got all the clear coat off. You can see right here, it's kind of, still has a different shade to it. So I'm gonna continue sanding that off until, until we're all a uniform, uniform. All right, so I think that should be should be about good with the this 500 grit disc. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a, an 800 grit disc. All right, so I'm doing the first pass with the 800 grit disc. It wants you to basically wipe it off, get all of the stuff left over from the the 500 grit disc. Basically, you want to get rid of the 500 grit scratches from the sandpaper and only make it a uniform 800 grit scratches. All right, so we just finished on this side, the, the 3M test, test side, uh, with the 800 grit disc. Got it basically down to 800 grit scratches. It looks like, to me at least, pretty uniform over the whole deal. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this uh, 3000 grit Trizac. So I'm taking the 800 grit disc off and I'm attaching the 3000 grit Trizac disc. 
Now it said it wanted this, wanted to use water on this part. So it said just enough to dampen it. And we're gonna continue sanding. I kinda hit the head the whole headlight too. that off see how good we're doing all right so it looks like pretty much got rid of all the you know 500 and 800 grit scratches like I said this that part of the lens is is always kind of looked like that um, it's uh, it, it, I think that just the headlight itself is has kind of melted it in a way So this is uh, after hitting it with uh, the 3000 grit. And this side has, has already been polished, but you can see it, it already almost looks way, way better than most headlights even look now, and I haven't even polished it yet. So now I'm going to take off this 3000 grit Trizac disc. I'm not gonna throw that away, because that's reusable. And I'm gonna attach this little, attach that guy to it, kinda, Mix up this rubbing compound, make sure it hasn't separated at all. All right, so we're gonna add a dime size amount. It's probably a little bit more than a dime size, but smear that around. All right. Off. So yeah, I just finished up hitting it with uh, the 3M compound on that, uh, that little drill. It turned out pretty good so far. I mean, comparable to this side, they're uh, they're about the damn same. So I uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of that uh, synthetic wax protectant. All right, so I went ahead and wiped it, finished off with that synthetic wax protectant. And uh, seems like that adds a little bit of uh, kind of shine to it, seems like it. But uh, not 100% sure what that does. Um, I, uh, I was thinking about doing this, uh, this whole like clear coat trick to this side. But uh, I think maybe after this winter, I'm going to see how this, I would like to see how that synthetic wax holds up. Uh, see how long it kind of takes them to yellow again, if, if it does. And, uh, and go from there. Uh, if it does yellow again, kind of shortly, I will probably take it back, and, or not take it back, but uh, I'll sand them back down and then I'll actually take the headlights out of the car and clear coat them with, the, with a high quality automotive clear coat. But uh, yeah, for all intents and purposes, I think, uh, I think this 3M kit is, uh, is pretty good. Sorry my, my little head cam died on me there. But uh, yeah, I think for, for about 20 bucks or you know a little, little bit more than that, that's uh, a hell of an improvement that you can do to your car. Sorry this wasn't like the prime example of, of super dirty restoration so the, the before and after isn't super dramatic as it would if, if I was working on something where you couldn't even see out of them because they were so yellow. Uh, Saab, I, I believe they, these are hella headlights so they used a decent clear coat on them from the factory and uh, so it's, you know, the, these headlights are, have been out in the, the sun for about 10 years and so now they just kind of started to, to wither a little bit. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this video, this style of video, kind of the little quick little how-to. Um, basically, I'm just kind of trying to show you guys that you don't have to, you know, do a full restoration on a Supra or build a crazy drift car or turbo crown Vic to actually get out there and have fun working on your car and, and see a difference and stuff. Uh, some of you guys messaged me about stuff and asked me, you know, how, do I, how did I get started? How did I, you know, do a bunch of stuff? How did I learn all this? Basically, it was starting off in my dad's garage in the driveway and just working on stuff. And uh, this is a super simple way to actually get out there and, and do stuff. Um, and another, you know, it, it's, it's around Christmas time right now. I'm not sure when you guys are seeing this video. 
But uh, I mean, if, if if your budget's low this year for for Christmas, and you got an aunt and an uncle, or you know your mom, your dad, your grandparents, whoever, you you could go out and actually like polish their headlights for them with a kit like this, or by buying all the supplies, you could start your own headlight restoration company. You could, you know, like like I was getting into, you could you could polish their headlights for Christmas. I mean, instead of buying somebody a thirty dollar gift card to Olive Garden that you can't really afford. And they're not. It's not really gonna like help them out any. Um, you could do something for them, you know. Which which they would, they'd much probably much rather have you restore their headlights for them, make it so they could see visibly at night versus uh, versus buying them something that you know they're gonna throw in their wallet and not paying attention to. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate uh, really appreciate all all the viewers. Um, you guys sticking around with me and uh, be sure to check out my other videos and give this video a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think.